price of something is coming down. The price of your electricity, if you know how to shop around. Our personal finance editor of the Irish Independent, Charlie Weston, is with us for his weekly money spot. Good evening to you, Charlie. Good evening, Tell Matt. us all about this, please. Yeah, good news, Matt, for the change, as you say, something coming down. Um, there's been a whole load of reaction to this campaign, the one big switch where 50,000 plus people signed up for a big discount and uh, that was announced uh, the other day that one big switch, switch had done a deal with poor gosh and people will get a discount and some cash back if they stick with that for a year. The other companies have reacted to that, which is great to see. Energia, the other day, is the new entrant in the market. They decided to cut their deal where if you get both gas and electricity from them, they're, they're pretty good value. It's 17% cheaper than standard rates. And then um, we have uh, Electric Ireland, ESB, uh, offering... 50 euro cash back kind of onto your, off your bill, a credit to your bill if you um, switch over to them. You know, you have to be a new customer for them. And um, SS... Uh, sorry, what about if you're an existing customer? Why should you be discriminated against? Why give the new customers something that you're not getting as a long serving customer? Yeah, you know, they, because they all want new customers. But I mean, they do have some loyalty deals which you have to sign up for direct debits and online billing and that kind of thing and you get discounts. But I mean, they're really, you know, the, as always uh, in, in any market, any financial market or, or electricity utility market, the, you know, the attractive deals are for the new customers. It's discriminatory, it's not fair, but that's the way it works. So they're all out there pitching to, to get customers. There's a, a healthy price war going on, it's great to see, and uh, if you're smart, if you, if you work out you know, um, where you'll get a good deal, you can do well at the moment and, and, and save a lot of money. There's, there's money, definitely money to be saved. You're talking about savings of up to 300 euros here a year for a typical family home, um, and, and that's for dual fuel. If it's just electricity only, uh, some of these deals mean that you can save 200 euros a year. So you know, you know, definitely, people who don't switch are losing out here. You really, really need to look at what, where you're getting your electricity or gas from and see if you can't do a better deal. Okay, Simon Moynihan is with us, Communications Director of Bonkers.ie, the price comparison website. And Simon, it is getting quite complicated, isn't it? I mean, how many people are struggling to work out what's available to them and what's not available and what's better than something else? It's getting very complicated, Matt. Um, with cashback deals from uh, a number of the companies with uh, cashback after a year from the One Big Switch campaign, it's really hard to decide which one uh, would be the best one for you. Um, in general... The best deals are for people that are out of contract. That is, they've been with their supplier for more than a year uh, and they're prepared to move and pay by direct debit and manage their accounts online. In general, that's the best way to get your gas and electricity. Uh, at the moment, probably the cheapest electricity would be, uh, for an average household, would be with either Electric Ireland, uh, with their new cashback offer, uh, or with uh, the one big switch if you're prepared to save for, or if you're prepared to stay with them for a year. There's a whole lot of... Uh, terms and conditions with the one big switch campaign but it is a good offer yeah and then what are the likes of electricity which seem to be coming out as much more expensive for electricity and gas going to do to close the difference or else lose business well electricity decided to uh, continue with a cashback offer for customers that sign up to them now so they're they're joining in they're putting together a cashback of 30 euros for new new signups um so they're not taking this line down. Uh, they do offer decent discounts. At the moment, they're a little behind. The, the big competition from the likes of Energia, uh, with a huge discount on gas and electricity, really has dominated the market. Okay, back to you, Charlie Weston, on this. 50,000 people signing up to one big switch. We had Oliver Tatton, the man behind it, on the programme with us recently. Did you or anyone else really think that a campaign like this would be able to get such a number in such a short period of time? No, I must say I was taken aback by that, Matt, but it's brilliant. It's absolutely excellent because up to now the problem was that just too few people switched. You know, there was a small minority of kind of street smart people who'd move around, but the vast majority just stick with the same supplier and they're on standard rates. If you're on a standard rate, you're probably getting a very bad deal. So, you know, it's great to see that 50,000 people plus joined this uh, one big switch campaign. Campaign. And that seems to have just sparked off all of these offers and discounts and cashbacks. And, and, you, and you're right, it is a minefield. It's very difficult. Now, we've tried in the Irish Independent today with a, with a graphic to try and explain the different offers and what's available, because that's really the only way you're going to get your, your head around it or go on to Simon's Bonkers.ie website and try and work it out. Um, and sorry, Charlie, can I suggest to you, does this mean that perhaps some of the suppliers were price gouging oh, until yeah. such time as the pressure was put on them? Because presumably... 
they're still able to make a profit on the new prices. Yeah, isn't it interesting that you're, up to now, all we've had, Matt, is, you know, we've had a price rise from one of them, maybe it's the regulated board gas increasing their gas price. And, you know, sure as night follows day, the others will come along with exactly the same percentage increase, maybe a week, two weeks later. And that was just happening repeatedly. And, you know, that's all we were seeing, price rises, price rises. All of a sudden, a bit of competition comes in and they're all able to suddenly discover that, oh, they can give you a discount, they can give you cash back, they can, you know, they can give you a deal. And uh, so, yeah, the market has been turned on its head in that sense. And it's great to see that they've been forced into starting to offer a little bit of value for a change and, and long may continue for us as consumers. Simon Moynihan of Bonkers.ie, what does this say about the power of the regulator, though? That is the power of 50,000 people coming together under the one big switch banner, which has been able to drive prices down. Why wasn't the regulator, with all of its powers, able to do so over recent years? Well, the regulator has done. The regulator actually right now only uh, regulates one uh, fuel with one supplier. The board gosh gas price is the only thing that's regulated by the, set, the Commission for Energy Regulation. Um, and if, if you remember uh, last autumn, board gosh wanted to increase prices by 7%, but uh, the regulator said no, and they, and they only allowed a price increase of 2 And they've done that before. The thing is that they're losing their power to set prices and have been steadily since um, uh, Electric Ireland was deregulated completely several years ago. And I'd say probably in the next three or four months we'll see board gosh get completely deregulated as well. So their power will shift entirely. The power will be to make sure that, they're telling, that, that suppliers are telling the truth, that they reveal how they're getting, making their discounts, that they uh, reveal how their prices are set, but not necessarily to set prices. What they're, what they're hoping for is an open market, a free market, like the one we're seeing right now, where discounts can be offered, real competition can take place, and people can make real savings. And do you think, is there more falls to come? Can prices go even lower? We'll see how the, I would, I would be uh, waiting to see how the One Big Switch campaign plays out. There's, there, there is a huge number of people, obviously, that have signed up. How many of those actually qualify and go through to board gosh will be interesting. Uh, then we'll see what happens after that. I, I think this is a one-time deal that's really shaken up the market, and we'll see whether the energy suppliers really compete. Energy have come in very aggressively as well. So we are seeing the ability for customers, like Charlie said, uh, to save €300 Euros if they're prepared to do the 15 or 20 minutes worth of work once a year that allows them to stay on a better rate than the standard one. Simon Moynihan, Communications Director of Bonkers.ie. Charlie Weston, Personal Finance Editor of the Irish Independent. Thank you very much for joining us on the programme, which is coming today from the Kingfisher Club in NUI Galway. Back after this. The Last Word, sponsored by Three Business. In business, communication matters. Pick the right partner. Three, we speak business. Drone.